What's up guys? 370 Gaming here, and we're back today with another episode of Rebuilding TNA. I'm not sure which number it is, and I'm not really even sure how this show is laid out, but uh, you know, we're just gonna go with it anyways. <laughs> uh, I hadn't uploaded it in a while uh, from recording this video, and I wanted to get a video out right away, so I do apologize if it's lower than standard quality, but uh, you know, I figured some content's better than no content, am I right? So <laughs> let's just let's just go into it. Let's just go into TNA Impact with a pre-show match of Chris Melendez and Crazy Steve, just getting guys on the card on the old pre-match card. Because uh, I noticed in prior episodes I was not using everybody, and you may as well if you're gonna run a TV show. Terrible wrestling, non-existent crowd. E Eli Drake picks up the old Winsky. It's a 40 performance, not too bad. And we'll cap it off with Braxton Sutter and Ian O'Shea taking on two of the Trials of Salvation. Uh, of course, in storyline, Matt Hardy has uh, sent the Trials off, but the 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 workers of the Trials will, will come back in another fashion that you'll see uh, in the future. So we're going to get them some ring time here as the Trials defeat Braxton Sutter and Aiden O'Shea uh, with, uh, you know, just, just by pinfall, apparently, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, they're improving, they have good chemistry, things are going well. And uh, Trial of Salvation 3 really putting in the work. Man, good job. Good job there. So that was a solid pre-show. So we'll get into the opening segment with Matt Hardy coming out for a promo. He claims he has finally saved Brother Nero. He says, I have finally saved Brother Nero. I've provided him the platform for his ultimate salvation. And now that the ritual has taken place... I will send away the trials. Guess I didn't mention that originally. Thought I had booked this before. Booked it now. That's fine. <laughs> now that Brother Nero has been saved, I will go for a greater treasure, a greater reward in the life of the broken one, Matt Hardy, and I will go on for the TNA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Ah, uh, yes. And EC3's music hits. And he comes out, and he says that he's here for two reasons. He says, one... I hate whatever the hell you're doing. You sound dumb, and your hair looks terrible. EC3 is greatly offended by this, of course. EC3 has the best of looks. You know, works out all the time. You know, does all. You know, stays up with the, the magazine. You know, GQ I think is a thing, right? I'm not really you know magazine savvy, but I'm sure he reads that all the time. And uh, yeah, it looks terrible. And uh, you aren't gonna get a title shot unless it's through me. And he Matt says, brother Ethan, I had a premonition a few weeks ago, that you and I would yet again enter the circle of squares. <laughs> ah, yes. You are of no threat to me, and my path to the heavyweight championship of the world. However, you are a threat to my brother Nero and his purification. Your toxic soul will undo the work I have put into him via the lake of salvation. You are a virus that will corrupt brother Nero's ten windows computer. You must be deleted! Delete! And he starts the delete. This is the birth of the delete chant. And the crowd. Look at how much the crowd is popping. Just popping huge for the delete gimmick. Unbelievable. The win <laughs> 10 Windows computer. I'm popping myself with that one. I had, Like I said, I wrote this show a long time ago. I forgot a lot of the scripting there. But uh, So good stuff there. So I guess we're going to see Matt Hardy and uh, Ethan Carter the third tonight as we get some knockouts, women's action, excuse me, Beth Phoenix, and a return bout, uh, defeats Winter in five minutes with Glam, glam Slam, and uh, Beth Phoenix doing very well, pulling in a 58, getting the match pretty well, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy with that. So just kind of get Beth Phoenix back in the mix. And uh, we have a promo from Damien Stevens, and he comes out, he apologizes to the fans, he says, you know, he w you know tonight, you know, first, the tag team title match was delayed on pay-per-view because of, you know, scheduling mix-ups. You know, now my my partner Cody has got a concussion. He says, I, you know, he won't be here for at least two weeks. So, I'm sorry, fans. I don't know, you know, there's nothing. I, I can't do anything in this regard. He tells Red Dragon that they will get their title shot at the next pay-per-view. Uh, but until then, however, there's some unfinished business with those juvenile delinquents, the Young Bucks. He offers Red Dragon to fight with them against the Bucks and a partner of their choosing. Red Dragon comes out, they agree, they're pretty amicable, everything's good, 
And uh, yeah, 70 C plus deal there. Kyle O'Reilly gets better at his gimmick. Bobby Fish underperformed because he's Bobby Fish. As we move on <laughs> to the Tribunal, defeating the Bromans in five and a half. Um, basically, the gimmick here was just, you know, I, I had set a decent push for the Tribunal, and then it just kind of fell off. So I kind of just wanted to get them on the card, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, you know, 49D plus, that's a match. Sure is. Will Ospreay calls out Zima Ion. I didn't write a big script out for this. It wasn't really going to be super complicated, super intricate. Basically, you know, he's calling out uh, Zima Ion for the bullshit shenanigans that happened at the pay-per-view, and he wants him in a straight-up match one-on-one -on -one right now. So, uh, yeah. God, looks like the old, uh, <laughs> the Helms dynasty is really filling up with the, the managers and the people and everything like that. So, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see what, oh, Osprey, improving in acting, so good for him, good for him. So we have a match. Osprey and Zima Ion. Zima Ion defeats Osprey by countout. Uh, the crowd wasn't happy with that one, I'm sure. <laughs> but the match itself was very good, as uh, Shane Helms did good work at ringside. Zima Ion's getting better at his gimmick, and they both put on a pretty good match. So good job to all involved there. The Young Bucks attack Bobby Fish backstage. They, uh, you know, you could see the Young Bucks. They're kind of crouching behind a crate, and they're like telling the camera, "Hey." You know, come on, come this way, you know. And Red Dragon are standing backstage. Kyle goes to take a piss or something. And the Young Bucks just beat the shit out of Bobby Fish. And, <laughs> you know, I don't know what they're trying to do. What are they trying to get at here? But uh, Bobby Fish, he, he's, in a, he's in a bad way, brother. He's in a bad way. We'll move on to Alex Shelley versus the Miracle Mike Bennett. Uh, and, uh, yeah, not too bad here. Alex Shelley defeats the Miracle Mike Bennett with a shell shock. Uh, thanks to help from Marquia Canel Drews. I was super confused for a minute. I'm like, why is Bennett losing? I don't understand, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Marquia Canel Drews does, in fact, distract Bennett and cost him the match. Alex Shelley is the fucking man. Uh, I don't <laughs> may have to rewrite some stuff for old Alex Shelley, but uh, yeah, great, great work there. 58C minus match. Decent stuff there. The Young Bucks come out for a promo of their own. Or no, they don't come out, I'm sorry, they're backstage. Nick says, you know, we thought about the six-man challenge that Red Dragon and Damian Mizdow were giving out, and Matt, you know, we've, we've got you know, plenty of two sweet Bullet Club guys to get in on this tag match, but nobody's here tonight. It's, it's freaking impact. You know, why are we even here? I don't know. <laughs> Give us a week, you fucking marks, and we'll get somebody. Matt says, oh man, Nick... <laughs> I don't think this match could work out anyway. I ran into Bobby Fish earlier. I hear he's not doing the best, brother. How about this? Tonight, we'll take on Kyle and Damien. Next week, we'll have a six-man match that tears the freaking house down. Too sweet, me brother. And, of course, they too sweet each other, uh, as the Bullet Club do. So, 72B minus great promo by the Young Bucks. So, we'll move on to a great fucking match between the Young Bucks and Damien Stevens and Kyle Riley. Of course, the Young Bucks win uh, with them or bang for your buck. So, great match there. Matt Jackson, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. The Young Bucks, yeah, that, <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say their title run is coming, brother, with uh, an 87 and 90 in-ring and that promo, Jesus Christ. So, crazy match there. Good stuff, good stuff all around. As we'll move on to a Jay Lethal Truth Martini promo. And uh, they're talking about... Drew, Drew Galloway isn't supposed to be on screen, but they're talking about Drew Galloway. And um, it was basically... The concept of this promo was Jay Lethal just, call, just uh, you know, putting himself back on there. He says, you know, I used to be in this company as, you know, the black machismo. We're always doing, you know, the flippity-floppity flues. And people are just burying me for, you know, not having enough of a, an original character, you know, I'm Jay freaking lethal, I'm the f world's greatest first generation wrestler, and, uh, you know, I'm tired of this kiddie bullcrap, I went somewhere else, and I made a bigger name for myself, so I come back here to reclaim my spot, and <laughs> show the world that I really am the best, and, uh, you know, Drew Galloway was, like, mentioned in passing, you know, he's gonna get the title, blah blah blah, but, um, yeah, apparently I put him in the promo, and he did well. So, no problem there. That's fine with me. Great promo. 
And we get a hell of a match between James Storm and Jay Lethal. When Jay Lethal hits him with the lethal combination, for some reason, that's not a finish, but okay. And yeah, 79B. Um, lethal not doing as well as I would hope, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens with the old world title picture. But good main event there to end the show. And increased pop in 25 region, 76B minus. Again, I want to say that's one of the better ones uh, I've done in the series so far. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but I guess we'll check it out now. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just going to go through this. I'm just going to talk awkwardly, I think. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this. I know the video's not over, but listen, th thank you, truly, for watching this. I, I appreciate it. I, I know people that have uh, subscribed solely off of this series, and, uh, you know, to, to know that you come back and you still watch, I, I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time between uploads of this one and the last episode, so... Uh, you know, I genuinely do appreciate that. I'm sorry I can't get the series going more often. Uh, I have a lot of series I haven't even started yet that I want to. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we will see what happens here. Didn't know Asuka was available. Would have probably tried to, uh, sign her. Oh, well. Uh, an explosion was disappointing, as it always is. And impact was great. Good shit there. So, yep, they extend deals with Evolve. We got 2.28. What did we get last time? Uh, pretty sure. Not sure. I know the deals are figured out already. We got the deals done. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm blind as fuck, so don't worry about it. We just go to show history here. Oh, I did not take care of these. Thought I took care of them. Hmm. Might be a problem. All right. Fair enough. So let's do a show history and see what the ratings were. 76, 70. Yeah, so 76. Uh, is it the best one I've done? Oh, shit. That was the best impact I've ever done. All right. Would you look at that? How'd that get all on? 71. Pretty good stuff there, if I do say so myself. Listen. So, um, yeah. I don't know what else to say, man. I think that was a successful show. And I gotta go fix these goddamn broadcasting deals. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like to see more of this in the future, please do subscribe, drop a like on the video, maybe a comment, you know, get you some criticism, maybe, I don't know, positive, negative comments, I don't care. Just get it out there in the ether. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.